for everybody. So Lee Cookie is here uh, with a costume as well. So let's have a look at him. So first I'm going to run in land 9, level 1. Oh, got a new layout of land 9 as well. Whoops, wrong group. Got to head back. So I'm going to do practice run on land 9, level 1. Level 1, Lee Cookie, level 1. Uh, bam, Elder Bamboo Pet. So I found out after the initial level one run that if you actually tap the enemies directly, you actually get more points. Uh, so this level one run, I'm just going to be using the, the, the leap buttons at the bottom. Uh, but yeah, you can get um, you get more points when it says touch. Apart from the last one, you know, when there's the five and one, I think that that no, uh, that doesn't change regardless. Uh, but I think it's it's a kind of a nice, unique uh, feature, I think. So you have to tap the... If you tap the enemies directly, you actually get more points, which is kind of nice. I think, because uh, there's not a lot going on in the ability in general, like, uh, you don't have to be, like, jumping and sliding for the map itself. Uh, you just literally have to be looking at where uh, the enemies appear. Uh, and they do it, they are in a random place, so it's not exactly uh, easy to predict where they're going to appear on the map. Um, but yeah, at the moment I'm kind of liking the cookie, I like the, the kind of the unique design and the skill. It's very, relatively easy to use, and if you don't want to bother tapping each one, you can just spam this, the leak sword buttons on either side. Uh, there, right there at the five at the end is where uh, you can just tap anywhere on the screen just to do it. but. Yeah, I mean, like, score-wise, uh, what's a new... The thing is, though, like, now, because we've got a new land 9, I don't actually know, like... And before, like, I had a good idea, like, when a new cookie came out in the old land 9, I was like, all right, that's a good score for level 1, or that's a good score for how far it got. But 84 million on the new land 9. Uh, it's all right, I reckon. It's all right. Uh, the cookie's not difficult to use. This time, I'm going to do max cookie with max pet so the pet uh, makes a little scroll which is a, a, a little, uh, what's that book what's that word called destroy obstacles uh, so it'll give you a number I, I think it's between one and five and you just have to destroy the obstacles uh, and as soon as you've done it throws out these little this little like uh, ring of coins so this particular one, I'm going to do five unfortunately and sometimes it can take a while, I don't know if that resets the cooldown. So here you go, here's the, the, chain, the, the little group of coins. And yeah, they're not worth the most coins, so I don't think it's going to be a, a coin for me pet itself. But yeah, I think like the, it's quite a nice little thing. I think, well, it's like uh, the, the, what's it called, the, the scroll thing? Uh, the scroll treasure, it's kind of like that. But, uh, you know, it's always going to be destroyed because it's just a random number. I think, I don't even go to one. Uh, I think I've had like three and then three, four and five, I think. I'm not too sure, I think this one was three. Um, but yeah, sometimes it can take a while to get the pet to give you the, the points for the coins. So I was like, here, now I've got it. So each one of these little bandit things in the league skill does count as an obstacle. But sometimes you do have to wait for the, the leak skill or whatever to uh, map appear to get the points for the bamboo. So I don't know if the timer of the bamboo only counts when you started. Uh, when you finish the current task or whether it will it just keeps going. Uh, I think it just keeps going, right? And then as soon as you're finished, if time is up and it's available for another one, it's just going to give you straight away. Uh, I wouldn't say this new landmine has a lot of obstacles. It's got a lot of jumping and a lot of, uh, I, don't know, I guess, sliding. But I wouldn't say there's a lot of obstacles. Like, uh, the beach probably has the most obstacles, but I think the rest of it is not so much in terms of obstacles. Uh, they are a bit lackluster. So, yeah, I guess, like, treasures can help you out. I think, like, the... Uh, the war horse will be quite good, so, and obviously when Lee gets candy, you know, you have a chance to destroy some obstacles. But 155 for Leak, uh, Max Leak, Max Pet, no treasures, but no candy as well. 
So, as always, the last room will be Max Candy. Um, so, this one, nothing changes in the skill itself. It's kind of like GGB. You get an extra little slash uh, that charges up every so often. And uh, the max you can have is two. Uh, uh, so, you can only have two on the counter, so don't bother saving them for it's too long. Uh, I just kind of just use them. Uh, the counter thing for the pet does seem to take a little while. It seems to have like a small cooldown before it actually valid and counts obstacle destruction. Uh, I think you have to wait for it to show the number and then for the number to disappear before it actually will say, oh yeah, okay, I'll stop counting now. Which, uh, so, which isn't the best, but you know, it, it is what it is. Overall, though, I'm pretty happy with Lee Cookie. Um, I, do, I think kind of like the whole like martial art ninja thing. It has been done quite a lot. We have like well, Ninja Cookie, we have Peach, we have Plum. So general Jujube, we have a lot of them within the same theme. Uh, so trying to find something original that uh, is not too much like the others probably was pretty difficult. But I'm pretty happy with the way this cookie performs. A uh, bit unhappy about the way, like, some cookies have a magnet for rainbow bears, some don't. Uh, the, the fact that the leak doesn't is, uh, that's pretty disappointing. Uh, I think if any, if there's any particular skill that you can't control, uh, up the, uh, sliding and jumping, they definitely should have a, a rainbow bear magnet. Because it is just potential, like, it's like easy millions of points missed because of, uh, so there you go, I just tried four obstacles there, but it only counted like two of them because it was uh, before the counter ticked down, but yeah, uh, oh well. Uh, you don't get to that many coins, so I don't actually think the pet is that great. Personally, I think the pet is pretty whack. I don't think I'll be ever using this pet for whatever. So I have a feeling this uh, leak cookie might be quite useful with like the Yeti or something like that, just because uh, of how not great it is uh, just yeah how great how not great the pet is in general it's, it's not it's not anything special i mean if it gave coins and then revived you or something like that then maybe but 184 million for the final run with the candy that's pretty good that's pretty good but yeah that's uh, my take on the lee cookie and bounce, bounce, trounce. E hey 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 easy easy all right though that's gonna be it until next time Bye-bye.